Hi everybody. Hi. Happy 4th of July to all of you internet peoples. Yes. This is Mike from Mike's Magic Resto Detailing and Paint Enhancement slash Correction here in uh, so so sunny Sharpsburg, Georgia. It's been very hot here lately and humid. Oh boy, and lots of rain, storms, thunderstorms. But today I have decided <laughs> it's time to clean her up a little bit. Oh boy, she's been outside getting hammered with all kinds of stuff. Oh man, and it's a test, good test of some of the previous products I have applied as well as a new one that I'm going to use today. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I've had to drive her in these storms. She's had to sit outside, even though she was sitting under the canopy. You know, the wind and all that still blows stuff on her. And <laughs> look at this, folks. You know, with the ceramic coating on there from 10 foot back, she still looks okay. A lot of shine and gloss. That's from the products I have put on there for protection but <laughs> when you move in close particularly on this black hood it was painted that way when I got it you can see oh all kinds of stuff on this paint I guarantee you <laughs> just about everything <laughs> uh, every chemical known to mankind calcium all that other stuff from the rain coming down, fallout, driving her down the road, you know, the chemicals on the roadway, they get splashed up on her when the roads are wet. This will be a good test. <laughs> oh my, it's on the paint. Uh, as y'all can probably see, lots of gunk on the glass. This won't, they will not most of that will wash off, but a lot of it will not because those water spots etch your glass and attach to your glass just like they do the paint and can be very unwieldy to get off. Ooh -wee. Same thing on the plastics. Uh, look at this rear windshield, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that. It is nasty. My louvers have got all kind of crap. The glass has got all kind of crap. A lot of it I'll be able to just wash off with my strip soap, but a lot of it will not wash off. Will not. I'm telling you folks right now, it will not. Oh, boy. And I even got... A lot of gunk on my wheels which have been ceramic coated as well with the hardest and toughest ceramic coating that I could lay my hands on yes you can coat this chrome and I'll be interested to see how easily they clean up of course I'll be doing the wheels and tires first a lot of gunk on these tires the rubber which they have been coated with a graphene based tire coating I'll be interested to see how they clean up you know the whole point of this exercise will be cleaning up this car which I have purposely not maintained well over the last month or so I think shortly before that I did some rinseless washes on it and that sort of thing I don't remember exactly how long it's been since I did that but Right now, she is nasty. Ooh, look at all that on the roof, would you? Man. <sighs> and there are many, I've seen many DIY solutions to getting rid of water spots, which are a pain to not only DIYers or weekend warriors as I call them, drive away demons, as well as professional detailers. Now what happens is the water itself 
does not spot, folks. It's the stuff that's in the water. Or maybe some dirt was present on the paint before the water fell on it. And what happens is the water evaporates and the stuff that was in the water is left behind. After you clean it off right away, not a problem. But how many of us have the time to do that? Not very often. And these minerals that are left behind and often what you'll see is after the water is gone you'll see a ring and that's where the chemicals have migrated to the edge of the water spot and left their mark on your paint or your glass or your plastic or whatever most often commonly referred to as calcium spots but uh, you know there's a lot more stuff in the water than just calcium particularly tap water now I don't have tap water problem because I have a what's called a deionization system which removes everything from the water I tested it with a TDS meter and it tests the exact same as distilled water which I used to have to buy 20 25 gallons at a time now I know no longer need to buy distilled water but removing water spots properly is a multi-step process folks no you can't just wash it and then buff them off yeah they'll go away temporarily but I guarantee you in a week or so they will come back and so I'm going to be using a new product today. It's put out by Flitz. Uh, <laughs> and they claim this is the best way. What this does, it neutralizes and removes the chemicals that have been left behind when the water evaporates. So that then, if necessary, you can go back and polish that way they won't come back they do come back trust me I've done it many and many a time you know there's all kinds of DIY ways I have seen uh, you know use vinegar use this use that blah 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 you know what if they've only been on there a day or so that might work but if this stuff they say is environmentally safe it works like an acid but it is not an acid we shall see we shall see they say you don't even need to wear gloves or anything when you use this stuff that's how safe it is I don't know about that but uh, you know that's what they claim in the marketing ploys <sighs> so I'm gonna get started here look at that mess would you oh I know I know she's been grumbling at me but we'll be trying to get all this stuff off of here and get her back to looking kind of spiffy. Appreciate everybody. Y'all have a great holiday. As always, like, tag, share, follow, subscribe if you're on YouTube and all that stuff. Give me a thumbs up and give me a thumbs down. They say all that stuff helps me. Comment, ask questions. You could shoot me a PM if you have a question. You do not want everybody else to see. <laughs> but my first step is going to be doing the wheels and tires. And then I'll be doing a foam soaking with a foam cannon. And this time I'm going to try putting my rinseless wash solution in the foam cannon. Uh, just to see how it works. Kind of another little experiment if you will. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the contact wash. We shall see. We shall see. I'll report to you guys on all that as I move along here. I'm going to have to move her out. I'm going to put her up under the canopy out there. So hopefully I can get out of direct sunlight. You should always do your cars out of direct sunlight whenever possible. If you don't, you're stuck with shrinking down your work areas to very small because the water dries fast 
your products flash very quickly. And it's just very, very difficult to do this in direct sunlight. So I'll be avoiding that whenever possible. All right, folks, thank you again. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.